Alright, we're back again with another episode of Anime Opinions No One Asked For and No One Cares About. This time we're talking about World Trigger. You know, anytime I am, I'm asked for an anime recommendation, I always recommend this show, but I've actually never met someone who's seen the show beforehand. And I think that's very disappointing because it's one of my favorite shows of all, like one of my favorite series of all times. Although the show, the anime doesn't actually finish. You have to read the manga to finish the show. But I think that's fine. World Trigger is a shonen anime based in a world where monsters called neighbors invade Earth? I think it's Earth. It could just be like a town, but it seems like it's Earth. And so they create weapons called triggers. And triggers can be completely customizable to whatever fighting style you like, which is super, super cool. It can be a shield. It can be like wires. It can be anything. I think that's so cool. So it creates such like unique fighting scenarios, which I think is really cool. I also think that what makes the show super unique is that like it seems like it would just be another like super overpowered main character just easily takes care of everything show, which is like kind of true to an extent. Okay, maybe more than kind of true, but like this show, the main character of the show isn't actually that character. The main character is literally so weak to the point where he's almost useless in most of the fights. And he's pretty much just there to babysit the uh, like the actual overpowered main characters. He also does a job of protecting Yuma, which is an overpowered character that comes in in like the first episode. And he's kind of, he's pretty much the main character, honestly, if you don't care about the actual main character. So he has to defend Yuma from the border defense agency because it turns out that Yuma is a neighbor, which again is what they call the monsters that invade them, right? So it's just a constant battle between trying to prove that Yuma is innocent and is not trying to destroy or attack people or anything, while the main character is also trying to get stronger. The main character is basically just trying his best to be as useful as possible in a world where everyone around him is like, well, I'm not everyone, okay? In a world where most of the people that are fighting alongside of him are way stronger than him. And then you would think it would just be another show where it's like he just gets beat a couple times and he just levels up over and over again. But in reality, he doesn't actually get that much stronger. Instead of getting stronger, he gets smarter to the point where like he changes his weapon types. He does a bunch of different things to make himself useful rather than like instead of like winning himself, he's just a support that helps his team win, which makes him feel more useful. Which I, I think that's a really unique approach. It makes it like more realistic because like you don't always have to have someone that's just like doing everything by himself. Although I think the problems that a lot of people would have with the show is that he he's super weak like he's weak to the point where you don't even like watching him fight because you know he's not gonna win <laughs> and you know you're just waiting for like the actual people to come in like save him but i th also think the show does a good job like balancing out between like how weak he is and how strong everyone else is and they do a good job like spotlighting the differences in, in power so like you can say like oh b rank is super strong like oh a rank is crazy strong and there's like, oh, S rank is like impossible. I'm like, you, you can clearly see the difference because the main character is the lowest. But one good thing about the show is you can see that he's super weak, but he doesn't give up. He continues to try. He continues to like improve his strategies. When he loses, he thinks about why he lost and then improves himself while working towards helping his team, which I think is really admirable. I think if you like fighting shows with like a super unique character development, and like a one-of-a-kind plot that does really, really well, in my opinion. I think this is a show that you should at least give like three or four episodes a try. To see if you like it or not. Because I think most people like saw the main character. They saw how like lame he looked and how boring he looked and how like weak he was. And they decided like, eh, I'm not going to watch. But like, that's what makes the show really good is that actually the side characters more so than the main character. Anyways, if you have any recommendations on what I should watch or what I should talk about. Just leave a comment. I also have my anime list in my description too.